Are we on, lads? Are we on? Yeah, buddy. Bloody oath, we're on. This is why you never give up, lads. Back yourself. That's the one we're looking for. So this valve would have seized up on the inside. I'm going to excavate, pull this box out, replace that valve, and then the water pressure is going to be A1. As I pull this bit of copper out, you can see it's starting to get a bit of that green corrosion type effect. I don't know what the actual term is called. But normally, when you put these underground, pretty sure they're supposed to be lagged up. And the reason is, is because there's nasties in the natural dirt. And over time, those nasties can start eating away at the copper. I'll double check and see what Trady AI says about it. And copper water pipes in the ground, should they be lagged? When installing copper water pipes underground, lagging is generally recommended, but not always mandatory. Why lag copper pipes underground? Corrosion protection, thermal protection, mechanical, etc., etc. What I said is relevant, especially in this climate of dirt. As you can see, all that green is early signs of the pipe disintegrating. I'll lag it up and that will prevent any further damages. What I use for underground lagging is this Denso wrapping stuff. It's really good, but it is messy, so I'm gonna go put it on out the front on the road. The ground level's about there, and then this all this part here is underground, so just unravel this. I oh, see how gooky and sticky it is. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, by the way, lads. If you have a better strat, let me know. But I pretty much just size it up. I'm gonna go vert vertical like this all the way to the end and then we'll cut it somewhere there. Slap it on the road. Oh, look at me hands. Now I've got to touch my Stanley knife. The rain will wash all that off, no doubt about it. Straight through, brother. And then it bonds together really well. So you just literally wrap it over like that, mold it around like this. It's pretty friendly to use. It's all protected. Now the new valve's in. The pipe has been lagged. We'll go and turn the mains back on, test it, make sure there's no leaks before we put sand and this box back in. Then we'll do our final pressure test and also a functional test on the inside. That's a lot better. That's the kind of pressure we want to see. Stopping around 400 kPa. 